Our top story at 6, the turmoil surrounding police brutality across the country. Tension in Richmond during growing social movements. Three police chiefs in two weeks. Clashes between police and demonstrators, some turning violent. In Norfolk tonight, protesters are taking their issues straight to the police. Thanks for staying with us. I'm David Allen. And I'm Nicole Livas. Janet has the night off. Demonstrators in the Commonwealth echo the calls from across the country. End police brutality and add transparency from the departments. We have team coverage tonight in Norfolk and Richmond. 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson starts us off from the state capitol. The Robert E. Lee Monument in Richmond is now a hub for activism. It's a memorial for victims during the day, but at night it's become the site of clashes between police and demonstrators. The Lee Confederate Monument, now a Virginia centerpiece for the Black Lives Matter movement. It says freedom. It says like liberation, more togetherness. People coming together for one cause. The monument is surrounded by memorials for people killed by police brutality. It is turned into a community space. During the day, it's peaceful. It's more community. It's almost like a sanctuary here. At night, it's a totally different story. Um, it's more tension at night. There's a sundown curfew in place for the circle. Friday, as Richmond police and state police cleared the area in tactical gear, they said they were hit with paintballs. Police declared an unlawful assembly and responded with gas, pepper spray, and non-lethal rounds. 13 News Now photojournalist Stephen Wozniak captured a man in white getting hit by an explosive. And the moment an officer shoved a woman to the ground. Police arrested six people. If you're here, you're going to get rubber bullets shot at you or you're going to get tear gas. Friday, the Richmond interim police chief stepped down. The city is now on its third chief in two weeks. But each day, people return here. They take photos, bring signs. They say removing this monument and rededicating the space would be a small change, but a welcome one. They say the movement endures. It's so much going on, but this is just a step towards the right direction. And if we keep moving towards the right direction, things will change. In Richmond, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.